In part 1 of this video, we began looking at how streams and wind could affect a rate by adding and subtracting as we were going up and downstream. Zoe's boat in still water, we found out, could be modeled with this equation. We can start solving by identifying the least common denominator is r plus 3, r minus 3. So we will multiply each term by this product, r plus 3, r minus 3. As we do, the r plus 3's will divide out, giving us 80 times r minus 3, plus 12 times, notice these two binomials are a sum and a difference, which means we only need to multiply the first and last together to get r squared minus 9, equals 80, with the r minus 3's dividing out, times r plus 3. Distributing through the parentheses, will give us 80r minus 240, plus 12r squared minus 108, equals 80r plus 240. You may notice we have 80r on both sides of the equation, so we can subtract it off of both sides to reduce the number of terms. And while we're at it, we will combine like terms on the left side. We now have 2r squared, minus 348, equals 240. Because we have r squared, but no r, we can simply isolate the r squared and use the even root property in order to solve. We will add 348 to both sides to get 12r squared, equals 588. Dividing both sides by 12 tells us that r squared is equal to 49. Taking the square root of both sides technically gives us plus or minus 7. However, r is equal to the rate Zoe rose, which would not be negative. So we will say Zoe rose 7 miles per hour. The second example we looked at was an airplane flying into the wind and out of the wind. We found out this could be modeled with the following equation. We can start solving by identifying the least common denominator to be r minus 10 times r plus 10. And so we'll multiply each factor, or I'm sorry, each term, by the factors r plus 10, r minus 10. When we do, we'll see a similar pattern unfold as we start to solve. The r minus 10's divide out, giving us 5084 times r plus 10, minus 20. Again, we have a difference of squares, so we'll multiply the first and last terms to get r squared minus 100. And with the r plus 10's dividing out, we get 5084 times r minus 10. We continue solving by distributing through the parentheses to get 5084r plus 50,840 minus 20r squared plus 2,000 equals 5084r minus 5,840. Again, with the 5084r on both sides of the equation, we can subtract it out to reduce the number of terms. We'll also combine like terms on the left to give us negative 20r squared plus 52,840 equals negative 50,840. Subtracting the 52,840 from both sides, to start isolating the r squared, gives us negative 20r squared equals negative 103,680. And dividing both sides by negative 20, tells us that r squared is equal to 5,184. To finish solving, we simply need to take the square root, telling us that r is equal to plus or minus 72. However, you wouldn't fly a plane at negative 72 miles per hour, so we must only have the positive 72 miles per hour that Darius is flying his plane.